Well, that's most probably my generation. <laughs> is this something that has developed then? I mean, you've been there uh, 187 years now, but one presumes you moved into online. Do people buy these sort of things online? Very much so. I mean, you, with any business, you do have to adapt to a certain extent. I mean, at one time, our shop, we used to sell the old pipes and the tobacco and the snuff and the pipe cleaners. No longer now, because there just isn't the demand. So you move forward, and that's why certain sweets, you actually introduce some of the more modern sweets that people are wanting. And likewise, with the online, you create an online business. It's a great part of the business now, because people want to visit our shop, but not everybody can, so they can get a taste of it by ordering online at the oldest sweet shop. And we send them out to them, and they get the same service because they come beautifully packaged, the best confectionery, and even on the invoices we wax seal by hand the invoice. And, you know, we get so many comments saying, this is just like the service you used to get. Fantastic. I like the sound of that, Keith. Good on you, Keith Tordoff, from the oldest sweet shop in England in Pateley Bridge.